anything right you're oh, no, now we're live and i'm the one that's got to talk about this right <laughs> I'll, I'll even kick it off because i don't give a shit it's not a race thing all i'm gonna say is it's not a race thing i said you should, I, I told dick. you the type of person that i am so it's gonna be a wild christmas that's all i would say if it was up to me I'll, kick listen. the kids out send them all to grandma's house and you know <laughs> You son you of a! That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> don't you don't throw me under that bus, sir. I'm taking you with me. You're the one saying that you're my you're my black friend. Oh yeah, I didn't I say that. Black. Your black friend. I said you're my friend. You're my sturdy <laughs> friend. I'm his black friend, thirty, and I'm his black friend, thirty, and his and his and yours. <laughs> Factual. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you put the sturdy on, it it makes sense. But you don't do that during my shows. <laughs> Listen, I like to put me, you're all right, guys. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. James, you know, I do this. I used to, oh, I still do. I love messing with white people, man, especially when it comes to like race stuff and like jokes. It's so funny. Like, so, like, when I worked at where I <coughs> worked in warehouses and stuff, I'd always tell some crazy ass black joke. And the white people that knew me, they'd be over there laughing. And the one newer guy, like, he, he's comfortable with certain jokes. You already know that. So it's like you already test them out, but not with the race stuff yet. And he looks a little uncomfortable or nervous. Just laughing. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> or my, my friends, they go here and stop fucking with people like that. Like, no, listen, this, this, this is my initiation for you guys. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got to screw with people, man. Exactly. Let you know if they're actually your friend or not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What's the easiest way to make white people feel uncomfortable? Race. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of things That's... that work that way. How there's America was founded. That should make white people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> not just race. And, not, and they don't even have to. You're like you're you're not racist to feel uncomfortable. Like you're just like oh fuck. Like, what am I supposed to say now? I'm just like yep. Yeah, what do I do? Oh no, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, I love it. <laughs> but I do have an intro for us tonight, guys. So we will be right back. Nice. I wasn't high when I did this, believe it or not. I should have been though. I, I don't believe it. <laughs> Christmas, bloody Christmas. A fucking robot Santa. Basically Terminator Santa. Whose side do you think I'm going to be on? This motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here. Just letting you know that. But we're going to review this shit for you. And just in case Santa gets crazy, I have my, uh, you know, I have this. Is it going to do much against him? Who knows? But I do know this. Happy you're here. Welcome to the madness. Happy motherfucking holidays. The scene snobs are here for this holiday fucking Christmas special. Whatever you want to call it. We're gonna have a great time slicing and dicing Christmas bloody Christmas. <laughs> I can't fucking wait to get this shit started. As soon as I shut the fuck up, we're all going to start talking again. Again, happy motherfucking holidays to you all. Now, let's get this party started right now. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what I just realized? Black crazy is fucking terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just realizing this? Yeah. Because I used to see, you know, you just see the, the black tough. That's not really, that's just like, come on, it's just an act. But black crazy, I, I don't, don't want to deal with that shit. It's, it's like a Jordan movie. Peele movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll act it, Jordan. I'll let you go. <laughs> So how's everybody doing tonight? All right. Good. Good. Great, man. 
<laughs> Mick, how far did you get in this movie? Uh, I got not bad. I mean, I guess I think it was like 45 minutes in. Mm-hmm. Half. Okay. Did you get to see any robot sand? Yes. Because he, he was stalking them. Like yes. around the okay. time that I was there. So, like, uh, I got to see him. And, and it's what's his That's what's his name from uh, Parker Lewis Can't uh, Lose. Yeah, he Abraham Ben Bro or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he was the bully in that show. Uh, the big dude, and he was he's been in tons of other stuff too. But yeah, I, I was didn't was, he actually was, just pass away? I don't know. I did don't he, know either. I, yeah. Um he did not. Oh, just dude. clicked on his thing. No, his, oh, I always knew him from uh without a paddle. Yes, yeah, without a paddle. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. He's Very actually karma. very good friends in real life with Matthew Lillard. Like, that's... You usually see him pop up in Lillard stuff. That nice. Is. What's up, Chris? <clears throat> so what were your thoughts on it, Mick? From what you got to see? I, it's good. I mean, I liked it. I didn't really get too far into the killing. He, uh, The one couple had gotten killed at the toilet. The- at the is, toy is this store? spoilers? Should I? <laughs> yeah, this is spoilers. One hundred percent spoilers. Oh, definitely. He missed all the really good shit. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> yeah. gotten there yet. Um, like it, was, it was just warming up. Yeah, well, it was, yeah. That was, that was that was just a teaser. Well, no, no, I got a little bit past that. Like when they're in the bar. Okay, okay that's cool. So I just that was like the only kill, really. Oh, yeah, so he he got he, he got knuckle deep, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You didn't even get to smell your fingers right after. That's that's not. Yeah, you know what's going. You know where this shit's going. He got none of the after. And it was pretty amazing. I mean, especially with that guy burying his face in some bottom. That was unexpected. Yeah, it made really that that made me laugh. Yeah. I was like, whoa. They laid down the law like right in the beginning at the record store when they started talking. (laughs) You know what? I love that so much. I'm like, you know Mm -hmm. what? Finally, something's being real with these fucking movies. People are yeah. fucking nasty. We're some nasty motherfuckers and shit. Be honest with it. It's not just the same boring ass missionary sex every night. If you do that, that's fine. That's cool with you. But you know, people are more wild than that. Uh, the <laughs> jumper movie. cables out. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like to be greased up? Right? <laughs> that's why I carry extra grisco everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah! <coughs> Fair warning, yeah. this is going to be spoiled, man. Yeah, it's a spoiler. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's definitely worth checking out. It is pretty phenomenal. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. yes, it's good. Even though it felt like, uh, like, like Sturdy said in the uh, the pre thing, fuck, it's like Terminator. He was hunting that girl down like she was Sarah Connor. Yes, I'm like, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, how the fuck for one? Why is the robot so pinpointed at her? Right. No. That, that that's the part I, I got confused. Oh, oh. It, was, it was still fun though. I mean, Great movie. my only uh, my only response for that is because she survived. So I was gonna go with like if it's supposed to be a security kind of machine, you know, it still has that function. So mm-hmm. all those people were there after hours. So almost like a chopping mall kind of deal. Oh, like ah, very, okay. very subtle, never stated, but could be the only way. And I everybody else it. crossed the path it was just collateral. Collateral. Like you're, yeah, 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 you're in the, you're in the way. Yeah. I, forgot I, that I was like a, how that's a great choice of the axe. Uh, yeah, right. Went right for it. He found it and was like, "This is mine." Yeah, he kept picking it up. He lose it for a second. He's like, "Oh shit, here it is. Let's go grab it." Okay. <laughs> Constantly, like, man. In the snow, he even went back for it. I was like, what are you doing? Sorry. Yeah, no. I'm going to go out and say this right now. I want to see a sequel or mm-hmm. sequels of this. Because this is this is at the point to where it's good enough for sequels, for like the fun sequels. You know, they're not going to be great movies, but these can be those fun Christmas movies to where every Christmas you're watching, say, the trilogy of this or four <laughs> or five of these, at five max. You're going to watch them all. Just they because of the set, they should have set it up at the end like that, though. They should have, when the girl survived in the road, they should have cut to scenes of other toy stores and all of them activating. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Because you, you figure those Santa things are at the very least 
not, maybe not around the world because I don't know what everybody celebrates, but at the very least, around most of the U.S. And there's there's those toy stores, and it's gonna be the popular toy, so it's gonna be everywhere. And just imagine That's why Walmart's every fucking yeah. shopping store would have like a shelf, like a whole line of them. But even if you had like the little like you know mom and pop store that has them, that's the only store that has them in your town. Whatever it is, you're still gonna have them there. That, that's easily other movies. That's not that's the old. Fun. Maybe they start replacing the old cigar Indians, <laughs> or the, or the Mormons in Utah get Joe Smiths or John Smiths. <laughs> uh, uh, Casey, after the beginning conversation, can we say cigar Indigenous peoples statue? Yes, we can. All right, we can say that. I'm not going. He's already got me in hot water and getting canceled. I need you to be. <laughs> I didn't. Listen, 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 listen. It's like creep show too. I'll tell you how exactly. <laughs> yes. Mick didn't do anything. Mick didn't say anything. It was all stirred. You guys are getting mixed up in the Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I say the crazy shit. Did oh, you? Did God. your Christmas card get lost? I don't. I don't... <laughs> I, it was in the. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'll tell you. I thought you. he had it in the intro. I did. I know. I was kidding with him. Oh. <laughs> I, think I was gonna. <laughs> I was gonna pull it up and prove it to you. I yeah, was. the uh, this this movie was a lot of fun in a lot of different ways for me. I, I enjoyed the lead a lot, man. She mm-hmm. was fantastic. Her attitude and everything, that's like straight up like uh, the stereotype. Like I knew people who talked like her and I hung out with. Mm-hmm. Yep, it right. fit perfectly. It did. I, it, it felt so real. Like mm-hmm. you're there. Like you can hang out there. Why is that attitude kind of sexy in a weird way? It because is assertiveness is sexy. Yeah, it, yeah. It's like uh, that uh, acting. Um, I'm a strong, independent. So I, mean, I, I could be like a guy. I, I admit she. That's how they talk. Like, yo, I'm hooking up with this guy tonight. I mean, she basically even manhandles him. Yeah. She like gets to face hump him, and then she's like, "Hey, lay here, sweet cheeks," and just bails. It's like that's awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's so her, true. Really her good. Name... I was like, wait a minute. I was like, what happened? I was like, that's it? She was like, I, uh, that's all I wanted. Like, the Taco Bell is, is closed. <laughs> <laughs> her name's something. Riley Dandy. <clears throat> Riley she Dandy. has she has one other movie out this year, and it is also a Christmas movie. Is it horror? Yeah, she's got a lot of Christmas movies. <laughs> it's called A Hollywood Christmas. It's on Netflix. It's right up Casey's alley. Oh, I'll be watching it. Mm. Absolutely. And That's also right, a California Christmas City Lights and a Kiss on Candy Cane Lane. I'm a fan of Riley Dandy now. She's in. <laughs> That's all it took was. <laughs> oh, wow. this, and this one for me, honestly, this is going to for, be a forever now, along with Better Watch Out. This mm-hmm. every Christmas, I will be watching this movie. I feel the same. I feel the same way about this, and that's why I want to see more. At least, I'll say at least a trilogy because I'm greedy. I really want like five, but at least a trilogy because it'll be fun to go back every time around this time of year and just watching them again and again and again. And they feel right to watch them like right around now. Like I'm not gonna watch this shit in the summer. It won't it? Won't hit the same. It just has to be right. cold as shit out. Some snow on the ground. Like I can right. start movies in November. I feel. No disrespect to Thanksgiving because it's a beautiful holiday. The food, it's a beautiful food holiday. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the not the bad stuff. I'm talking about what it's what 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 we pretend it's about. We the make believe meaning of Thanksgiving is what I mean, people. Not the the reality. Not the real, yeah, the reality part. Just you know what? Let's let's change Thanksgiving to Family Reunion Day. It's Family Reunion Day. <laughs> and all the families get together and we eat food. Yeah. Just like we do a family reunion. Boom. Bro, we're still we're still giving thanks. I think it works out just fine as long as we don't try to, you know, say that we were good to indigenous peoples. Yeah. I think that would be a poor choice. Don't lie and say that. <laughs> People fucked up. Mm-hmm. I mean, Dirty didn't do that. No nope. oh my god. These guys didn't do it either, so don't start pointing fingers at my guys. <clears throat> Point thing. fingers at my guys. It just <laughs> sounds like you're actually telling everybody to point the fingers. <laughs> no, never, not for you guys. I got a few people on my list, but I wouldn't. Be <laughs> I love that, and I want to find out more about this list. Would you sick Terminator Santa Claus on them? You know what? No, because he's the. He doesn't know how to act. He, he gets too crazy. Because they'll end up coming after me. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I'm really serious. Like, I'm pretty sure this movie, like, got birth as, like, 
that John Bagos and like one of his boys were probably sitting there watching Terminator all smoked up one day. And then someone walked in and was like, it's fucking Christmas time. Why are you watching this shit? And they're like, light bulb. And then it's just like, <laughs> let's make this motherfucker Santa Claus. <laughs> and then they threw in the greatest thing ever, which is what every movie needs, which is that lethal weapon guitar riff. Oh, when that hit, yeah. bro, I it blew my mind. I was like, I'm in love. That's like, awesome. whatever, everything else is done, I'm watching this movie. <laughs> and then Jeff Daniel Phillips playing the sheriff. Like, he, he was pretty dope in it. He was yeah. awesome. He was real good. I'm going to go out and say this right now. This right here might be my favorite horror Christmas movie. Really? It's, right up, it's up yeah. there with Better Watch Out. Yeah. I, yeah. In my opinion, I, Krampus I probably watch. owns that right now. I gotta watch a better watch. I see. I like Krampus, but I don't love it. Yeah, I like Krampus too, but I wasn't like. I think like huge. Maybe I gotta watch another story of it. If it had more of a darker tone and less comedy, I think I would like that one more. I'm saying. One I'm thing. still saying Jack Frost. It's a bad movie, but it's. <laughs> that's it's the that, funniest that, shit ever, man. Movie. It really is. I mean, if I need to laugh through the whole, like it's so thing. bad, but it's so bad, it's good. I'll yeah, give fair. it. I'll, I'll give. I'll definitely. I can give Jack Frost like the best horror comedy for Christmas. Now, the second one, I don't know what the fuck they was thinking, but... Yeah, the second one was bad. Fucking off the rails. Yeah. I've seen so many horror Christmas... Uh, so many Krampus. Krampus has... There's so many versions of that movie. Oh, yep. fuck. Shit. Shit. Uh, miss, then I even watched Miss, uh, like Mrs. Claus, like an evil fucking... Oh, God. Santa's wife and shit. There's a lot of shit out there. <laughs> Santa's sleigh was always a favorite, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one, yeah. Silent Night, Deadly Night's a classic. See, yeah. I've never watched those. I'm actually going to start watching those this weekend. Oh, yeah, man. We, we did those about three weeks ago. Nice. Don't Open Till Christmas, which was actually the Joe Bob movie, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the first one. Have you guys checked out Advent Calendar yet on Shutter? No. <laughs> I haven't watched that one yet. I saw you guys that's, did that, what, Tuesday? Yeah, it's yeah, pretty good. That's good. Okay. That's good. You guys are two for two for Christmas. Yeah, no, right. yeah. I'm happy about that fucking vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. And occasionally we'll get like even the remake of Black Christmas. It took how many years before that? And that was an okay movie, but we don't have many horror Christmas movies. And I feel like the last couple of years, the market oh, yeah. is flooding. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah. a fan of the remake of that. I didn't mind the re. I, I mean, I, I love the original. I didn't mind the remake though. The first one I liked. Mm -hmm. The second one, Ugh. I. I uh, the 2006 one? I didn't mind that one. Ugh, I hated that one. I, I Actually, it's funny. The second remake, I didn't mind because I'm like, as its own movie, if you didn't call this Black Christmas, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But you called but, it Black Christmas and you ruined it. It, did, it, made, it made me so mad. Because it, it wasn't a remake. The first Bloomhouse uh, disaster. And they even mentioned that in this movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, she gives yep. him shit because he's like, ooh. The Blumhouse film, and she's like, You want to go home and jerk off the Blumhouse? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of fitting considering this one actually did not have a lot. I don't think any boobs. No, I don't believe no. this movie had boobs. You just, no. you just see her ass in a thong, and it was a nice ass. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. ass in a thong, and you see it looking like she's getting and then you see a guy's face in her ass. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, you, the other one you, in the you, store. That, that, that yeah, was two different. The store. Yeah. You, you had one where there was salad getting tossed, you had one where, uh, you know, yeah. yeah, he was at the taco bar. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Salad bar, taco bar. <laughs> Practicing his cunning linguist skills. See? What do you guys? What do you guys think about the kills? I love them. <clears throat> they were yeah, dope. Me too. Yo, they were they were simple but awesome. What was your okay? What was everybody's favorite kill? Uh, the the axe to the face. Yes, yeah, the axe to the face against the car. Yeah, oh, whenever, yeah. whenever fucking Robbie died or whatever his name was. Oh yeah. man, you you see, I like how they show it. Like you see the, it goes in. Old. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, whenever, whenever they're in the truck trying to get away, and then like he's like laying in front of the the grill of his truck and turns around and gets the axe like right in the side of his face. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you got Never. the uh, one in the beginning where he hit him first. He just hit him in the back and he's crawling up the stairs and he just yeah. walks up, oh. takes his axe back. It, the blood starts gushing. It was just gory. Not, then, he's, then he just walks up the stairs and steps on his head and crushes it. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, the one where he actually, uh, the guy's screaming about hitting his car and he splits his skull right down oh, the middle yeah. and then throws him into the truck. I was like, yeah. oh. 
Okay. That was my favorite. That was my favorite one right there. That one. Oh, that was a great one. one. <laughs> I was like, great holy kills. shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? And like, well, once and once they, the kills they, really started, they really didn't stop much. No. They didn't, and they really showed the you kid. <laughs> exactly. They yes. show you that this kid, this thing is like you know that powerful. They right. show you how yeah. strong it is by just using an axe. It's like I mean, he cleaved a guy in two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, robot. He threw it, was he pretty threw, strong. He threw the cop over a fucking ambulance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which made me fucking laugh. Like, God damn. What made me think of is when um, <clears throat> which I fucking love this. And Casey, I know you do too. Going back to Friday the Thirteenth, when Jason throws people through windows, the funniest fucking thing in the world. I kind of got that feeling with this Santa just throwing the people in some ways. I'm like, yo, if there was a window there, I would have probably came on myself. I think it was funnier <laughs> without the window. He went over a fucking ambulance. But seeing that it's the actual doll, like the fact yeah. that you can see that it's the floppy <laughs> yeah. doll, it just, I yeah, love it. Just it hit so there, bounces much. off the car. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that they did it like that. I'm glad they didn't. They still, it's fucking great. Yep. Yeah, it's so much better because it's like you know. What? Fuck it. This movie's ridiculous. God, you guys are making me excited to watch this movie, but I'm like, now I know everything. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's good. Good. Like, it's the good. visuals alone are worth it. Are worth it. It's oh, just yeah. straight up fun. It was fucking fun. It is a hoot. Yeah, and, uh, you don't, and then you don't care about the story too much. I mean, you can pay attention to it, but you, you know, it really isn't too much of a story. Like, no, it's not. It's just straight up simple. Let's just, uh, hey, let's chat. We're both drunk. It's Christmas Eve or something. Uh, That's what was great about the movie, though. Like, I believe the whole thing. Like, I. I mean, that's the same kind of conversations like me and my boys would have at the bar. Exactly. Just yeah. fucking like it was just such like a regular scene. Like you, like you definitely would see yeah. that shit. Like no matter what. Ar- arguing over albums. Right. Oh, mm-hmm. she was like when they, the rockers they, cut their hair. The and next they didn't album sucks. It. What I liked about it is they didn't overdo it with that, like to make it too. I don't know to make it, to make it look like they were chasing after each other for the whole movie or chasing it. You know what I mean? Before that scene started. So it was just like it just happened. They were just chilling. They were hanging out. They know each other well. They know each other's right, music yeah. taste and all this other shit. And people fuck. Yeah. I mean, well, it's his boss, too. The part where she said yeah. she's going to call HR on him, that shit was funny. Yeah. Oh, it was great. <laughs> there's there's went, the thing with that part. I got a their banter that part. back and forth was great. Yeah, it was great. But he was trying so hard. He didn't have to because at first, when he was teasing, where she was really going to go on the Tinder date, and he was like, oh, you can hang out with me, blah, blah, blah. Soon she said, Gave up that Tinder pipe. <laughs> they started hanging out with him instead. He should have stopped, calmed down. He knew he was going to get it. Right. <laughs> and then he, like, I felt bad for him too because every time he'd bring that fucking other shit up, I'd like cringe. I'd be like, let it go, man. Like, you're almost yeah. there. But did any exactly. of us at like 22, there, 23, I'm like, you're about to fuck yourself? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Put it this he, wasn't, he was about to go home and watch Blumhouse and jerk off. <laughs> other, you just. You're a wild person at that time. <clears throat> and it was person. cool the way they they changed, transported you with time. There's almost like a, we're not sure if this is the distant future, the not so distant future, mm-hmm. where we are mm-hmm. time-wise, this alternate universe created, which is really cool. Uh, I also wrote down that this is a, really deserves the byline of understanding the dangers and ramifications of retiring robot soldiers. Like this mm. is, uh, it's an important thing. I don't think it's brought up enough as retiring robot soldiers yeah, and the dangers that could come with the robot soldiers that, you, uh, you know, come back they, to the front line. They man. need a job too, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going to put this out there, guys. For educational purposes, we need to start showing this movie and iRobot in like middle school. Stop fucking with robots, people. You could bad shit. No, 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 no. You can't do that. Why not? They have to deal with the same fears we did and have to grow yeah, up I know, right? knowing that it's going to happen eventually and they're screwed. <laughs> We're not <laughs> saving anybody. Next 50 years. It's going it's down. For it. I this might be been, there for it. This, this has be been an ongoing, in, uh, this has been on a, an ongoing situation since like science fiction became a thing. And yep, we're, it's just, it is what it is. Well, it's eventually going to happen and we're screwed. They have an AI. It has like conscience. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it we're, answers, we're, we're it has screwed. fucking feelings and shit. Like, like I'm oh, gonna do whatever get the that AI fucker time. angry. You're gonna have a Megan on you. I'm we'll just gonna try happens. to see if me and the AI I can work something out. Like, listen, AI, how about you look just like me? Just go to work for me. And it could okay. be like small wonder. You could just have like a little robot butler. Ah, oh, that would be so mm-hmm. dope. You'd just be really good friends with a robot butler. 
Uh, Thing is, yeah. I won't have nothing to do. Mine would be lazy just sitting next to me watching TV. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have nothing to do. You know, one day you'd be like, just come sit down here and hang yeah, out. And like, they'd never, never out, leave man. the couch again. <laughs> Your wife would come and change. You may have just like you. I thought you were having to do a laundry, walk the dog. Oh, I forgot. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to program them, and you know, it, it, this was good enough. <laughs> he, he used the THC oil on me. <laughs> Bingo. Gosh. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, yeah, be, be careful with robots. They're fucking dangerous. Yeah, man. Oh, Aaron, what, what didn't you like about the movie? I wasn't too said- crazy about, um, honestly, the way it ended. Oh. It ended when... She remember when she was in the car last, screaming and driving away. Mm-hmm. Maybe if it ended like that, or when she runs him over and drives off or something, just something like that. Or no, after actually, I'll say that after that last accident where she crashes the uh, ambulance into him and pushes that car over on him, starts him on fire. Mm-hmm. I feel like it should have kind of ended there, and then maybe after that, you know, you see her going away, maybe to a hospital, or whatever, whatever. Maybe then maybe in the next town over, like you were saying, you see green lights come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they had work. like they had three oh, scenes oh, that you thought was going to be the ending. Oh, they did. They definitely did the overkill. They're dead. Yeah. They're yeah. not dead. They're dead. They're not dead. I, like, I, I, thought, kept... I, was, I thought I was watching wrestling. I, the fucking Undertaker keep rising up. He did the Undertaker every up. time. It was like, oh. yes, <laughs> it just kept happening. Yep. He did. And okay, oh. they over, they overdid the electricity thing too. Yeah. yeah. How many times yeah. they're going to electrocute her? Oh, let me get the fire on the sprinkler. Oh, he that starts sparking. Is, he gets back up. Let me stab him with a sword. He starts sparking. Oh, he's back. That's why I said it should have ended with the, either the car crash part or just her hitting him and driving off kind of thing. Because it would have ended it so much better. And you can even have him just sit up later. Dude, for mm-hmm. one, this is how he, she could have ended it. She had the perfect weapon. She had fucking He-Man sword looking thing. He-Man sword, baby. And That's what I fucking, said, too. I was like, oh, she has the power. I yelled it out. I was like, she has the power. He should, she should have slipped the fucking head off. <laughs> Yeah, like she was cut the That was a He-Man sword, right? Did that look like He-Man? Uh, it, looked it looked just like, like it was sword. a knockoff. Yeah, it was not <laughs> the actual because it didn't connect at the top. First right. Thing my head, I was like, "Oh shit, I want that sword." <laughs> like I even paused it whenever that happened. I was like, "Is that no?" It looks <laughs> like it. <laughs> it does look like it. Oh, I'm so glad that this movie doesn't disappoint, though. Like for, I hold holiday horror movies at a different kind of standard because it's like. You're gonna be a very. I want you to be a very important part of my life. To where, I want you to be my go-to when this time of year comes around. Like Thanksgiving is in November for me. Mm-hmm. God, I love those movies. But um, I want that for like every holiday. Like I'm, I'm. I think this one may be it finally for me for Christmas, and I gotta dig around for some more Christmas ones to watch every year and stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, that was the one, yeah. I know. I know. I gotta watch that one still. There's Silent a few other- night, deadly night. I've never. I'm actually gonna start watching those soon. Yeah, they're, they're, they're worth so, it. Because I've never seen any of those, and I'm excited to see those. I don't care how good or bad they are. I'm just Christmas like, Evil. Nope, haven't seen that oh, either. I didn't see that either. No. I haven't seen that one anymore. Christmas Evil. Oh yeah, uh, Christmas. Uh, Christmas Horror Story. That's what oh, I'm chatting. That right one. Now. That's Casey's. That one. Casey's buddy. I think that was on Netflix. I've seen that one on. Oh, Billy Shatner. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that a little while back. I think there's so many like good Christmas horror movies now. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Oh, we went Anna, so long without you like them. you like a good musical? Watch Anna and the Apocalypse. Oh yeah, great call. That's a really musical good fan. one, y'all. Still check out. You're still trying to check it out. Are you lying, James? Out. Yeah. No, it's okay. hate music. We watch that fucking. Yeah, I know I do. That's why a lot of people love that fucking um, what's that musical? Oh. The whole this horror Hamilton movie musical. No, the rock mm. one, the rock version. Poultrygeist. <laughs> I hated that movie. Poultrygeist. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Sun Repo. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Repo. Rocky Horror Picture Show. No, not no, that one. Not that uh, one. The I genetic that. opera. I didn't mind that. Yeah, genetic that one. Opera. That one was like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I, the songs were so dumb, man. I, I was like, it was taking me away from the story. I was like, stop singing, please. You should stop. definitely check out if you like that one. You should enjoy Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Oh, that's that also sounds like a porn. <laughs> and Meet the Fables. 
for the angry inch. <laughs> Meet the Feebles is hilarious. Right? We reviewed uh, we reviewed Meet the Feebles in um the other puppet movie. Oh um Puppeteer? Puppet Master? No, the, the, what the detective with uh fucking yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Melissa yeah, yeah. McCartney. No, yeah. That movie. <laughs> Both of Aaron, them are hilarious. Aaron was dying. That was oh. the funny I that's the hardest I've ever seen Aaron laugh. Watching that trailer, it's like the, yeah, the, the trailer itself. But <laughs> even in the movie where, where the guy was just in the office, he's the puppets just jizzing everywhere, jizzing all over the door wall Flooded. and everything. <laughs> it's hilarious because it's just fucking blue. It's just yarn. <laughs> it's silly string, man. <laughs> oh yeah, silly string. Like, ah! <laughs> oh my god, it's so fucking funny. I gotta watch that movie again. Oh, <laughs> oh lord. Fuck, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. What would you guys change about this movie, if anything? I would uh I would make it um shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I would have I would have watched the whole thing. <laughs> I would have been able to yeah, able to get through it and talk about it with you. I mean it's an hour twenty seven. I feel like it's a pretty short runtime. Yeah, Listen, don't tell wasn't. me my times, Casey. Yeah, it yeah that it wasn't that bad. It, it fit really time. well. I think the I think the the thing that it could have used a little more love from was either more people to kill, yeah, yes, or having more of her story progress with the boy and then have him die a little later. Right. I think would have you know would have connected that more. It comes across much more Terminator because it's her against mm -hmm. that yeah. the thing you know. I, and, and you just you, reminded me. You just remind me about that. I think when they made this movie, they thought that same thing. They're like, we don't have enough kills. So they threw in the fucking sleeping sister and brother-in-law. Yep. Just yep. to get a couple more kills. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're going to fill this gap right here. Let's add those, those fucking uh, uh, brother-in-law and sister. It could have used a bigger body count, even though it does take down, you know, a police department. It's basically, still, I felt yeah, like yeah. it could have, it could have... Uh, Helped from some more on screen deaths, basically some throwaway kills. Like, if they're yeah. like, they come yeah. on just to die off, it's, okay, that's yeah, give me some guy gets thrown out the it. window. That's what you need, right? I mean, by the end, whenever she's laying in the middle of the road, though, like, all you keep thinking kind of is, is she the only one alive left in the town, right? I know, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because all the gunshots like, right? and everything, there's like no public, there's no one's out right. there. Like, I will say, like I will say, that's a loss. are dead. I feel like there's a, it's a lost art form when it comes to horror movies nowadays. Like you don't see too many of them utilizing that kill count and mm -hmm. having the big group there for whatever reason. But you don't get to know the ones that are going to die quick, so it's just let it go. We don't need to yes. know them. Let's focus on these. They don't. You don't see that a lot anymore. Mm -hmm. it's I mean, it's a terrible kills. writing trope, but it's it is. Far. But I like it sometimes, and I but, think a movie like no. this would have really helped with it. Yeah, I was gonna say for us, it's, it's a terrible trope, but for <laughs> for a slasher, it's perfect. Because for slashers, you want to see these awesome, bloody, gory kills. And you want to see a lot of them, but then those important characters, you kind of must see them kind of progress somewhat and then get killed later on in the movie, not get killed off within the first ten minutes when there's only two people left. So you yeah, need yeah. those. Those kills are actually really important if you think about it. Because like, okay, you get these silly, quick kills off just so you guys can see the kills, kind of. Draw the idiots like sturdy in because that's what works for me with some titties, and I'm, I'm hooked. Blood guts, and, and this is I'm in Hook exactly. And, and this is an easy sell for any sort of sequel because they've talked about how many more of these there are. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. only one, and they said there are so many problems with them. And there's the case they mentioned on TV that they were calling them, yeah. so yeah, it's wide open for sequels. They can do this across the board, maybe have Easter bunnies. Yes, oh, sure. they might well. they really want to tie it back too. They can have the one chick that survived kind of maybe she's figured out a way to stop these finally to shut oh. them all down. And that'd be kind of fun. Just to, if they want to throw her back in there, like instead of and if they you guys listen, please, if you guys do like a single and you throw her back in there, don't throw another chick in there. that looks kind of like her. Please make it her because it's it throws it just throws everything off. It's not yeah, she's really good. Riley Dandy's fantastic. I enjoyed yeah. what she brought she got, to it and I want to see her again. She got he fucked up though at the end. Like she, she got fucked up, broke an ankle, got her fucking fingers chopped off. <laughs> but she survived. She survived. But they showed you what it took to go up against that thing. Was you yeah. know, 
She'll That's be insane. mentally fucked at Christmas time, like the rest of her life. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas song comes on, she just starts losing her fucking mind. But, right. but the positive guy, she'll have a titanium fucking ankle. Who could say that? Well, what if what if the <laughs> sequel was she goes fucking bonkers and she just like starts like murking out fucking like mall Santa Clauses and shit? She thinks it's the robots. I would, I, I, I'd be like, oh my god, hold yes, even if it was like a small part of the movie, the robot Santa's were real still there, were still really there, but she was killing the wrong ones, right? Just you, killing every you, Santa, or you could do an idol's hand type thing, idol's foot, like when they're putting the screws into her ankle, it's part of the robot and it possesses Ooh. her foot. <laughs> Mm. Eric, Eric that was a joke. I wasn't serious up that. Eric's like, oh, story. that fucking movie is I would watch that shit. I would watch it. Why? Of course you would. Blood Lake is your line. Of course you would. That, that is true. That is true. <laughs> Everything sounds Love better than story. that. Everything is better than that so far. So far. I don't know. I still haven't made it through Weed Wolf yet. <laughs> that that made me laugh. I couldn't help it. Yeah. The movie was shit, but it was funny. It had funny parts. So cheesy. It fucking, I was dying through the whole thing. That is funny parts in the cheap costume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, this Santa costume, they did a good job with it. Yeah. yeah. Good job with it. it just, in the beginning, it just looked like an old dude. A Santa, like a moss Santa. That's all it looked like. Mm -hmm. Until they started getting fucked up a little bit. They had the laser green laser eyes and shit. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, here we go. It was, it was like the Christmas ball lights. That's, yeah. that's what it looked like. It was hooked to his throat. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. when you know he's back, uh, comes back to life. The fuck is like, yeah, right here, like a light bulb flashing. That was green, yeah. Oh, that's pretty that's, fucking awesome. It was fun. That's pretty fucking awesome. I, I, uh, it was way more better than I expected. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I thought it was gonna be cheesy and shit, but it was good. Yep. Yeah, this is. I think this is my. Uh, this is my number one Christmas horror movie of the. Of. By the way, if it's out of one out of ten, I, I give this an eight. An eight. Oh, yeah. Lincoln J. Let me get to these really quick. <laughs> Glad you said that, good sir. Uh, Chad, will you give it? I'll go seven. Seven. That's like a high seven, like 7.7. 7. Uh -huh. <laughs> Casey? I'm in the same boat. That's a seven. That's rewatchable as all get out. It is exactly what I want to watch. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I think it was fantastic. I think it just misses a few marks and kind of falls short on the body count for me. And there is a quality in the writing that was definitely lacking, mm. even for a horror movie. So I've got to put a strong seven, man, all day. From what you've seen and from what you've heard from all of us, Mick, that's not fair. I can't give a rating on something I haven't finished. <laughs> I will not do it. It's so messed up. But I, as of right now, the only mm -hmm. thing I will say, the best thing I can do is from what I've seen, I think people should check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's here's what I'm Finish it and then give us, a, give us a rating when you get a chance. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I want for Christmas from you, Mick. <laughs> I will finish it for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I think I would recommend this heavily. This is uh, mm -hmm. probably on the same level as, like, I, I keep going back to Better Watch Out because I was so blown away by I that agree. movie, and I love it so much. I mean, the way it spun so many tropes on its head in the same year as The Babysitter, which, mm -hmm. in my opinion, is one of the best new horror movies, period, dot, full stop. I think the franchise of The Babysitter is fantastic. So you love Better Watch Out. Great for a screwed up Christmas movie. Nice, nice. I gotta check it out. Check that out. Or soon. a horror movie that takes place at Christmas. Maybe better for that. Eh, a little bit of both. It works. It works. But this, I'm, I'm so happy that I've I seen this and I watched it, and I actually enjoyed it because I'm like, I'm going into it. I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna be one of those fucking movies. <laughs> awesome fucking cover. Intriguing enough title to drag you in. And then it starts. Then you know shit starts going. You're like, oh wait, okay, this, this really isn't that bad. All right. And then the killing starts. Like, oh shit. <laughs> and then all the other good more killing and more. You're like, oh shit. But I will. I do agree with you on the fact that um, which I gave this movie a nine by the way. I had a really good Ooh, time. Nice. But I do agree with you on the kill count. There should have been a lot more kills. There should have been quite a few more kills. At least eight. Because you can kill three, four off at a time. You know what I mean? Like that within a minute. Well, if, 
it, if they decided on what they wanted to be earlier, I think they could have gone the 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 slaughterhouse route where they had more kids involved, mm-hmm. more people from the mall, more people interacting there. So we could have seen like a Christmas party instead of just two people humping. Yeah. So they, I think there there are ways to do that that they could have wedged yeah. it in there. But all in all, I mean, they did fantastic for giving mm-hmm. me essentially a robot Santa that Which is I- the reason for Blade Runners. You know, <laughs> like he's mm-hmm. the reason we have to have a Decker in the world. He was fantastic. I loved everything about this movie. The slasher part it was great. There was really smart. They were fun kills. But uh, yeah, they wanted more of it. An hour and 27 was kind of short. You could have given me easily two hours on this and I would have been happy. Mm-hmm. I agree. And I feel like that may have made the ending better because either you cut it off where she's driving or you say that extra shit happens, but then more happens after that even. Like a little more with that next half hour after that into possibly something at the end happens where it makes us at the very least makes us think if it doesn't happen a sequel's coming mm-hmm. and you know if the sequel comes cool great fantastic make it fucking happen please <laughs> yeah like i would have would rather like seen it once they went like full-fledged like terminator and he like storms the fucking police station they should have had at least like five more cops in there yeah mm-hmm. easily there was like yep. three people in there the guy even yelled at him. like, we don't, this is, we don't have a force, basically. He said, yeah, hardly anybody. <laughs> it's like, so what's wrong? Like, everybody in that the town fucking had to be fucking dead. I'll, I'll even throw in the, the, the generic country boys that come out with the pickup trucks and the shotguns. They're ready to go they're gun something down. And they're actually right. going to do it. And boom, a bunch of them get killed off. Boom, there's your kills. You got those oh, they did race some kills that we didn't see, though. The backup that ended up going to the house when they yep. were talking on the to- uh, this uh, radio. Where then you just started hearing, oh, the fucking thing you started killing. Oh, I don't know how many were there. It could have been one. Here, 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 okay, so here's how you fix that. Here's how you fix that. You don't have to show those, but somehow go through those rooms. Either the girls run through those rooms, she notices all these dead bodies, she's covering her face, she's scared, mm-hmm. and says, trips over one. Do that. And then you have to have one either in a closet or hanging up somewhere. So when she opens the door, just jumps at her face, and makes her scream. What are you talking Boom. about, man? What? Fixed. You're talking about the cops when they got there after she was arrested in the jail? And they all no, just start disappearing. She, she, she don't she, go she, she, out again. She gets out she, of the prison again. Yeah, but she don't go back to that house. I'm just saying, in general, you have bodies <laughs> all over. I was confused. Over. I was like, wait a minute. She went back to the house. You made me start fucking start thinking shit. I was like, I was like, what the fuck did I watch? Which Christmas bloody Christmas were you watching? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I stopped listening to you guys because I don't want to know anymore. Because it sounds like a really good movie. It's, it is a really good movie. It, it is. It's very, I was actually. Very I, <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm following video store clerks everywhere. That's what I went and did. I was just like, I'm gonna, let me check them out. <laughs> <Start following. laughs> Appreciate it. it it's yeah. worth for you. I'd say since you didn't get to finish it, it's worth. It's honestly worth starting again from the beginning and watching it all. Whenever you get a chance to seriously, seriously sit down and watch it from beginning to end, I feel like that would be the best way for you to watch it. Maybe smoke a little bit before. Smoke just a little. <laughs> Oh, dude, Not- and then I'll go do it right now because I'm already gone. There, there go. he is. Now's the time. Now's the perfect, Finish it now. perfect time yeah. to go watch it. Because you're just oh, going yeah. to I should have watched <laughs> it. Shit. Oh, wait, I did. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm a little... I'm a little <laughs> hey, remember that time I was high way back when when we started this? I'm still high. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's how this all came about. Like as you guys were talking, I was like, you know, I like video stores. And then <laughs> I like, <laughs> Which is such a fucking great name for a podcast. Yeah. Movie podcast like that. You have no limits to what you video store. Yeah. You're talking about like anything that came through a video, movies, games, anything, really. We tend to do more horror, but yeah, we, we can pretty much go outside of any box. Yeah, but if you want to go outside of horror, you, you can. We, we, we have the keys of the prison. There you go. <laughs> nice. Okay. There you go. When the <gasps> inmates get it, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> What's everybody's uh, plans for the holidays? I mean, rest. It's vacation Traveling. time. Work. <laughs> Chilling. Getting high. Chilling. Movies, maybe some games. Mm-hmm. This is my only time off for the year, so I'm going hard. Mm. You're going hard? Yeah, I, I start back to work Monday, so 
relaxing. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday for me, so I'm you know chilling as much as I can. Sorry, but, uh, yeah. You said you're traveling, Jay? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I go visit the wife's uh, family until Christmas morning. I come back and celebrate Christmas Hell. on my side. So, yeah, it's not bad. It's only a two and a half, two and a half hour drive there. We stay there for a couple days. Yeah, but that's back. five hours of driving that you don't yeah. want to do. I can say yeah. that because she can watch this. It's all right. <laughs> I can confidently say that because I know none of our wives watch this. We're missing out. <laughs> We're missing out. Mm-hmm. Terrible. She listens to my dumb ass all day. Don't want to turn, turn, listen to me on this shit, you know? That's literally how my wife put it, too. <laughs> I was I, there. I think my wife did basically that same thing, or you get on my nerves, or your voice, said, something, something that I was. <laughs> It's like, okay. It's like, you're fucking, your voice makes my ears bleed. <laughs> well, that's love right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I, Jazzy, I do. Just when she goes to bed, just play the podcast in the room so she can when she sleep and lay down after you're sleeping. <laughs> I can't. I won't be able to sleep. I can't listen to myself. Put some just put, head, just put headphones on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Jim? <laughs> that was so messed up. <laughs> See, we're all smart enough not to do that because we like this thing called living and podcasting. <laughs> okay, who told you to do this, Mick? And then, <laughs> that, that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you right now, whoever has a wife, I'm snitching on to where you get the same <laughs> outcome I get. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. I did it. That's the He'll take it. Mm-hmm. He'll take it. All right, Nick did it. I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Starting with never. <laughs> How much you have to I'm joking, people. You don't interrupt your wife's sleep for money. That's a stupid idea. You know what's a great idea, though, is watching this movie and subscribing to these shows right here. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, we are not on vacation. Oh, wait. No, you got oh, Video store perks. <laughs> you can find them everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, all that good shit. Link is in the description. <laughs> them out. Mainly YouTube. Mainly YouTube. The scenes. How did I send you the bad copy? Everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. This is, this, is, this, this, is, this, is the, this is the new one that Mick sent me, guys. He Dude, sent me it's 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. I don't know what you're doing. I did <laughs> restream or what? I just uploaded it, my guy. That's, that's I don't know that I can make it any bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Canva, Canva doesn't go any bigger. <laughs> yeah, put two of them side by side, so it just takes up the whole rectangle. Oh. Make sure you guys go check out those awesome, amazing shows. You're gonna get some amazing, funny, fun content. And you'll see my black face on there here and there. Your black friend Sturdy will be there. You gotta make sure I say that so Mick feels better. It's a role, it's role in their HR. On that race, a couple times a year. Would a racist own Donald <laughs> Trump trading cards? Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Oh did man! You get, did you get them appraised? How much they worth? I don't know. They were not nearly worth it. This one. This one is him with Herschel Walker in 1984. Oh my god! It's right. pretty with, amazing. It's a card with two dumbasses on it. That's right. <laughs> right. And I own it. <laughs> did you get the Ken Griffey Jr. one yet? Yes, I did. I'm, gonna, I'm not showing until tomorrow. Oh, now we need to CTE from that fucking conversation. That's where everything went downhill from. <laughs> no, he, things were downhill in college. He's come on. <laughs> he, he's a problem. <laughs> I'm not even gonna give you a shout out, um, Walker. Great running yeah. back. <laughs> That's should, it. Uh, but everybody That's literally where it stops. Yeah. Everybody should tune yeah. in at 7 a.m. tomorrow for our three-hour show. Okay. It's Snob oh, Nation yeah. Morning Drive live show every Friday morning. And you can see the other cards that I bought. <laughs> yes. So I have a request. If yes. you guys ever have a guest, I just want to be the first black guest. That's it. That's all I ask. Too late. So we can't so you're telling me I oh. cannot have another black guest before until me? the series finale of this show. Wait a minute, you have so black- tomorrow. <laughs> no, that's when I'd invite you on the series finale. <laughs> <laughs> of course, buddy. You're always welcome. You know that. 
Jesus. We'll set something up in the new year. We're going to do our top 10 list tomorrow, but Ooh, oh, we want yeah. guests in the morning show. That's the thing. That's Absolutely. Kind of the point of it. Yeah, we want to take that third hour and kind of be able to do that in there. Just people mm-hmm. along the way. That's why it's the Snobs Nation Morning Drive Live. Yeah. Everyone is involved, man. We just chat along. You are literally the first person to ask us. Tell <laughs> me to get up early enough. I'll get my monkey ass up and hop on the show. Don't right say that. Don't, <laughs> don't say don't that. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't mean it in those terms. I get it, but you've already you're shouting out and mix with black friend, and then you're saying that. Like people are gonna be like, oh I'm, listen, but Mick, let's, when let's sink this that, in audacity to over I'm, this fat guy. I'm, I'm gonna say this. This is Sir Sturdy saying this. I don't don't say it. Just don't say it. Because (laughs) I'm talking about something else as he says it. I'm not doing that. (laughs) He's scared. (laughs) Look at me. I'm going to of my voice. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love this shit. (laughs) Fucking fun. Everybody get a podcast and just talk with your friends and tell them it's a fucking great time. But take it soon. Have fun, but take it serious, or you're not going to last. You don't believe just, just don't do it if you're not serious about it. That's no. the yeah. Oh, if you want to get rich, yeah, don't do it. No. <laughs> no. You're better There's off smoking not. crack and stealing shit. I am at the point now where I just straight up am – I'm looking for all of the people who started podcasts in 2019 and who's now starting the, we're going to teach you how to podcast if you pay us this amount of money. Mm-hmm. Go. Fucking oh, we'll fuck show you your money. Yeah, like fucking starting one of these things. I know fucking thirty-five dollars. This would be an acceptable for you to tell me some society. I already know and I already do, and I've been doing for years now. I'm five years ahead of you guys on this shit. I should be training you on what the fuck to do. <laughs> me? You? No, 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 no. I'm saying for the people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, it's it's been been eleven years, dude. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He's in that slow brain mo- mode moment right now. I am super I, I, in that slow brain. I'm I, I'm still I, talking I, about I'm the movie. There with you, so I understand. I understand. That's why you're so paranoid. thirty. Thirty. Let's start a class. <sighs> you want to be like racial relations with Sir? <gasps> yes. <laughs> no. I'll be I'll, I'll be the moderator. Podcast. Yes. Why would I want to talk about that? Race relations <laughs> in podcasting one hundred and one. I mean, I'll talk about it, but I just don't want to look like a fool. (laughs) Come on. on I don't want want 30 to step up and be like, let's talk about this, everyone. Here's my dumb friend, Mick. We're going to make him the racist in today's scenario. It's like, I don't know. (laughs) Episode 101, diversity. (laughs) (laughs) Talk about some, you know, how to deal with black people. <laughs> That's the worst title ever. First first episode, but I have a black friend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. How to how to succeed in business with black friends while not trying. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's a great idea. Mm-hmm. I love those ideas. Yeah. See, the, the thing with that though is we had a good, fun, honest laugh, and that's what you motherfuckers need to learn how to do. Stop being so soft and uptight and crying over everything. Everything isn't hateful. A lot of times, nine times out of ten, a lot of things are just funny, and people take it a little. You can tell in conversations. I can tell at least. You can tell. Like these conversations, always going to be funny. Nothing hateful. Mm-hmm. Not here. Oh. Unless we're talking about certain things, but it ain't race. Yeah, yeah like, it's what, usually what? a shitty movie. Home Sweet Home Alone again. <laughs> I talk about that. I'll trash that movie for Talked days. Garbage. I never watched it. What the hell is that? Oh. Home Sweet Home Alone again. It's the last it's... Home Alone movie that came out last year. It's like my most hated movie of all time. Is it, is it, he's he's in it, but as an adult, as itself, right? He's, he's an adult now? Uh, I, he, I, or, he's not or, in or, it. Or, oh, older not, I, in I, it. Oh, oh, okay. I thought Buzz. he was in it. Yeah. Oh, the older brother's in it from oh, the first one. Buzz. 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 He's a cop now. It makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Very Very it's like the most realistic thing in those movies is that Buzz <laughs> became a cop of his town. Like, part of me kind of wants to watch it just to review it, well, and the other part of me is like, I don't think I should put myself through that bullshit. 
but we'll see. <laughs> they did that for the okay. uh, Christmas Story Christmas. The fucking bully. Mm -hmm. If you want to torture yeah, yourself and watch something boring, just watch Willow. No, man. Oh, it has I, heard, I heard bad things about it. Yeah. Show is oh. bad. <sighs> It's not terrible. It's just really like adventure, but like it's, it's slower than Lord of the Rings. Adventure. Yeah, it's real it's slow. slower. Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, I agree Those with trees that. Trees are barely walking in this one. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> barely. Oh my god. Well, they're they're they play up the joke so much. It's almost more about the pithiness and the wit mm. and how everyone's just so sharp and intelligent. And I'm like, ugh. <sighs> Everyone's just Thank stroking you. their writing. They're like, oh, we're so funny. Oh, and look how you smart guys, we are with Steven Spielberg's wonder. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't like pithy and witty attitudes, watch the scene snobs. Hey, hey. There you go. <laughs> we won't give you any of that horse shit. We might make you laugh, but we're not sure how. <laughs> uh, we'll just call in the Black Friend Sturdy. I'll say some shit for him. Don't worry. Our Black Friend Sturdy will come in and talk to you. There you go. <laughs> and he's way funnier than us. That's why we're on his show. <laughs> I have my moment. I have my moment. Mm -hmm. dude, do. dude, this week I've been on podcasts with a lot of people. And I have one where a guy was completely doused in everything Michigan. Everything he was wearing was Michigan. Go blue. I and now I got Philadelphia over here with Mixed Jim. <laughs> I love it, though. That's a great sweatshirt. And I'm jealous. That's why I'm saying it this way. <laughs> What's your favorite I'm serious though. I'm checking out video store clerks right now. <laughs> it even, it even says eat lightning crap thunder. Yeah. That's nice. what they're doing, Phil. That's what you gotta do, Rock. You're gonna eat there, lightning there, and there, crap there. thunder. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. That's great. Oh man. All right. Subscribe to video store clerks. Yes, <laughs> yes. Make sure you guys subscribe to video store clerks. Yeah, check us out, cool. man. I think I added all you guys today. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Subscribe to my Black Friend Sturdy's podcasts. Oh, yes, I've, yes. I've been there. I have plenty of Black Friends. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I thought I did too, but Sturdy told me otherwise. <laughs> I have a few. Sturdy I mean, likes to just, I'm he the most it that way. He's the only one that matters. So <laughs> that's why he said so we always put him at the top. You <laughs> gotta be rocking that flat top, man. That looked awesome the other day in your picture. Oh, it's yeah, it's, just it's, like it's still fresh. But it's, I'm I'm festive. Uh, I know. Still look good. I also like the hat with the sturdy on it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wife did that. I gotta get cool. some fucking sturdy merch out there. Yeah, the should do. We need some keychains. <laughs> magnets. <laughs> hey, yo, it's freezing outside. I need that fucking winter hat. <sighs> I want a snow Joe that says sturdy on it. <laughs> if you don't know what a snow Joe is, you'll find out. I don't know what a snow joe is. Stop. Snow joe is the the newest the sponsor of the scene snobs. Got to get your snow oh, joe. Oh, there bro. you go. Yeah. Get your snow joe. Go get your snow joe, bro. You get the electric get your shovel. Snow joe, bro. Best bro, I can where's do your snow joe? Get a picture of it and put my logo on it and send that to you. <laughs> so the snow joe is just a pole with like this big rectangular thing on it that's made of plastic, like a hard plastic, and you just scrape all of the snow off your windshield in one one foul swoop, right? And it comes off. Well, I had one, and it was snowing one time. I'm just gonna tell the story now because it's funny. So Casey and I are outside. We were we were just getting out of the bar. It snowed like it's blizzard conditions, and like, all right, let's go wipe off the cars. You know, I think we were working. We were not drinking. So shut up, everybody. <laughs> so we I wanted to point that out since we're going out to the cars. It's so true. We go out to the cars, and <laughs> I clean off my car, and Casey's like. Having cigarettes, getting ready to go do his. I'm like, bro, you want to use my snow gel? <laughs> and he I immediately never... had to find out what a snow joe was and inquire for hours as yep. to what a snow joe was, why the snow joe, how does the snow joe work, how much does a snow joe cost? And the whole time he's just jersey style going, snow joe, bro. Snow joe, bro. <laughs> we did commercial, we did our own little commercials as different celebrities. <laughs> That's trying true. to sell with snow joe to each other. <laughs> and you didn't put this out as content? <laughs> this was years ago. We, did. we were just coming out of work. This is us riffing. Yeah. We might it's, actually do that tomorrow. If you have that, you probably don't have it anymore. Huh? See, I thought the snow joe was the fucking where you can buy the shovel. It's like a, a snow blower. It has the I think blades. they make I think they make like other things too, but like they oh, call okay. that the snow joe. I, I or whatever it is. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, we were just riffing. 
Hey, I'm Al Pacino. Buy the snow, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be. There cool. was a lot of that. <laughs> That's awesome. Hilarious. Are you all ever get worried about all that snow on your business, and you just need that snow, Joe, man? Snow, Joe, take it right off, brother. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, that morning was the birth of the conversation between stroked out Kirk Douglas and Jimmy Stewart. Yes, it was. That's right. I do. Oh, yeah, because you see, here is what you don't understand is uh, uh, you don't understand, uh, Joe. You can't uh, clear uh, the uh, out, Kirk. Uh, I don't know what you're worried about. It's sounds crazy. Uh, Jimmy, I was a cowboy one. Uh, uh, that's why I, I, I think I get what you're saying there, everybody. I, uh, I don't know. Who's the biggest way, Michael or me? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it's really good. Uh, that depends on uh, which movies you're talking about. And why don't you get <laughs> Snow Joe Kirk and just run on back inside? You can't be Joe Jones. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's your exclusive for our black friend Sturdy. <laughs> he only does that for me. A preview of what we got coming up tomorrow. Oh, oh man. I had so many topics planned and we're screwed. I know. <laughs> so many topics. But you got this, man. You got this. <laughs> Just think about me. When you you will. Disappointed. We'll, we'll start laughing. We'll comment and then I'll send you the link. If you're oh, not up in time, I'm not doing it. Well, what, what, what time do I have to be up? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> seven and ten. Live seven to ten. So it's anywhere between seven and ten. I hope he shows up at nine fifty nine. I do too. And he gets on at like nine fifty, and he's like, "Hey guys." But I'm not sending you the link unless you comment. I'll comment. I'll comment. It's a it's a it's a sturdy roulette. Tomorrow, what you get there? Ah. <laughs> Oh, right, I'm going. I'm going to bed. <laughs> yes, man. It, That's yeah. not true. I'm going to go eat brie and uh, because I do. have it in my house. I don't know what it is. I think it's yeah, cheese. Do what? Brie I'm going to eat brie cheese. Oh, there's a, there was a there was a wheel of it in my house, and I was like, eh, I could do it that today. Nice. So, if you I mean, there may yourself, be crackers involved too. Yeah. <laughs> nice Just commit. White well, Casey's, with... Casey's coming over tomorrow. Maybe I'll save some for him. Word. Would you like some of my brie cheese, Casey? I would love some brie cheese, Mick. I'm gonna I'm gonna set aside some brie cheese for you, Casey. <laughs> Thank you, Mick. I appreciate that. I do love brie. You can have as much brie as you would like. That's on the wheel, buddy. That sounds very exciting. I can't wait to cut into your wheel of brie cheese. I I would love for you to cut into my wheel of brie cheese, Casey. Hopefully I can then spread some brie on a cracker in front of you. I will definitely have sturdy crackers for you to to spread that brie love all over it. It will be so exciting if you have some blueberry jam to drizzle on said brie cheese smeared on a cracker. I, I will definitely do my best to venture out into the cold and get you that jam, those preservatives. To That's spread well. all over that brie cheese that is spread all over that sturdy cracker. And make sure it's preservatives, not marmalade, you fascist prick. No, <laughs> no, I will not be a fascist as of tomorrow. I will make sure that you are getting the preservatives that you deserve, <laughs> not the marmalade. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kindness. No, no problem. If you, <laughs> if you require Big anything party. else with your brie cheese, I will get it for you. <laughs> A date. I will get you a date to spread all over your brie cheese. Wow. I mean, not I the fruit. Not the fruit. Okay. All right. All right. I will get you a. I'll get you a date. Her name is Marmalade. I can't do anything about that. That's just. Her name is Marmalade. Her name is Marmalade, but her face looks like Marmaduke. No. I just. Said, I said I'm going to bed three minutes ago and then started this. Yeah. You did right. this, rant, Mick. this wild rant. It's been fun, guys. <laughs> it's been a blast. Appreciate yeah. you guys. Thanks for having us. Of course, of course. Happy holidays to everybody. I'm yeah, gonna try to I'm not gonna make any promises, but I'm gonna try to make it. All right. It'll be yeah. fun if you make send it. Send a comment. I'll send the link. Got you. Got or you. I'll just send you the whole thing and then be like, you host the show. I'm I'm going to say, you know, you and Casey <laughs> <can do. laughs> We're gonna talk about spreading again tomorrow. I can't swear. Yeah, you got to hit the. Nah. That was your idea too. So you swear. 
mm. and you swore through your entire intro today. Like, yeah, if, if you had a swear jar, you would owe a thousand dollars today. Your your <laughs> intro that was only three minutes long had more swear words in it than the entire movie of Goodfellas. <laughs> like, just your good. three minute intro was just fuck this, fuck that, fuck everybody. What you do is in case Samuel Jackson retires and wants someone young and hip to replace him. I gotta practice. I see you more as a Denzel, yeah. my friends. Like, well, I mean, with the swearing part. Oh, that's to, fair. You know, with the swearing. Wait, part. was, it, was that racist I, 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 for me I to also, say that you're a good-looking black man? Not at all. I appreciate okay. it. I was he wants to be Denzel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a wild character right there. Denzel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson. All right, all right, my brother. Every fucking movie. Okay, all right, fine. I'll tell you what. You That's have stage to name. sell the Snow Joe to me right now as either Denzel or Samuel Jackson. Go. No, no, hold on. Get going. You got to do this. I don't even know what Snow Joe is. Buy this motherfucker. <laughs> Nailed it. You're in. You're in. Nailed it. You got to just do it as a celebrity. You did it. You can so, do it as a white celebrity. I don't care. That's something I feel like Samuel Jackson has done. <laughs> I don't fucking know, Joe. That was scary the shit out. Like, imagine being the cameraman. Like, fuck, now I got to buy this shit. <laughs> yeah. I was just holding it like, buy this motherfucker. <laughs> Drop the Stop dropping the camera, Aaron. Damn. Oh my god. Holy cow. All right, gentlemen. All right. Yes. We're getting out Love of here, you. people. Yeah. Great night. Peace out, peeps. Love you guys. Night. 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 And stream.